So recently, uh, we treated eight patients uh, that had no measurable disease at the time of CAR T-cell therapy. And it was, it was remarkable in that in those patients, we observed that the T-cell expansion was the same as in those that had uh, measurable disease. And that's of interest because the immunologists were concerned if you didn't have enough antigen around, the cells wouldn't proliferate, you wouldn't achieve a response. Um, not surprisingly, all of those patients at three months were still in remission because they were in remission when we treated them. But by the end of a year, it was pretty much like patients with measurable disease. You know, I think it was four out of, uh, no, uh, um, three, or, yeah, three or four out of eight had ongoing remissions at that time. So um, it tells me that, uh, uh, A, um, patients who unexpectedly during third-line therapy achieve a complete remission should probably still receive their cells. And just because they're in remission doesn't mean that their outcome will be better than those that have disease at the time of CAR T-cell treatment. Although I might say, if patients are in remission with a reduced tumor volume, the side effects are much less. So that's, that's a plus. But uh, I, again, it's a small sample size, but based on that experience, I would recommend that we go ahead and treat patients in that situation.